could tell he did not like either how the bull was standing or what was going on on the inside of the steel. That gate opens up and it goes legend's way. Clock stops and 3-0 and too. There was not a whole lot to like period about legend. You heard Matt talk about how he was a big strong bull. There was nothing fun about this out. Legend coming out, no timing, huge jumps, big moves forward. Wow. And look at this. You want to talk athletic ability? How far is he off the ground? Five foot? That's 1,800 pounds jumping five foot straight up in the air. Wow. We said athleticism in sports. That comes from both the human and bovine athlete and bull riding. <laughs> that bull just took flight. You're not going to find that on the hardwood or the turf or anywhere else in sports. Look at that. Holy hopping hamburger, Batman. Take a look at the hang time. Look at that bull. You could fit two guys underneath there. Incredible athleticism. Oklahoma Freedom fans, here we go. Light party. Whoop, whoop, heads up. That was not supposed to happen. That was not in the script. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> oh, okay. What moves from legend, but you're already seeing those re-ride flags fly. Four and 76, a buck off time and legend. He's hightailing to the other end of the arena. He is, this was a big time, big time jump from legend. Tell he couldn't land on all fours cleanly. Stumbles a little bit. This jump right here is huge though. That velocity is incredible. That height, 47, excuse me, 46 and a half bull score. Apparently I was giving him a 47. To me, it was that good. It really was that good. I mean, the hang time, the athleticism of this bull, just absolutely incredible. And then that a little flash gets his horn in the dirt to really make it look good. That bull's got it all, a lot more to come from legend. And for Casey Roberts, it is a rewrite opportunity. And the way he's collecting his gear and moving, it looks very much like Roberts will be getting on that next bowl for Oklahoma. You gotta jump in there. What an out from Cold Creek. Sends Marsilio flying at five and 22. But I'd love to see what a score like that would have been if he made the whistle. Yeah, you talk about the out from Cold Creek. What an out by Alex Marsilio. I mean, you mentioned it, how the fans love these bonus round bulls. I mean, it's nearly the equivalent uh, of competition of a championship round. That's the caliber of athlete we're seeing. That is a hard crash landing, but this is a big time performance by this bull. And Garner's big time score is 46 and a quarter. So for newer fans, when you're getting bull scores like that, that would be what, say 93, 94, if he makes the whistle. Oh, at least, yeah. I mean, right. yeah, you're, that bull's doing everything you can ask for one. An opportunity here to start him off, but a big task. Yeah, great matchup right here for Clancy Hart. This Malachi really bucks. Wow! Huge jump out of the gate. Malachi and Clancy collide. Getting help out of the way of that out gate right where Malachi will make his exit. Good to see Clancy on his feet. Now all of his teammates coming over to check along with the sports med team. Clancy taking a huge shot at the end of this one. Glad to see him up. And worth noting as sports med makes their way over. Also, we're hearing the sounds of that challenge button as well. What a shot out of the gate. You mentioned the power of Malachi, 47 point bull score. Yeah, he's put up a couple of huge outs here in Missouri. Today is no different. 47 points is rarefied air for these bulls. Here it is. 
We'll take a look back at this and Sage, walk us through what caused that contact is. We're also being told it is officially under review. Well, it was a really weird start right there. Bull not, not leaving when they open the gate. It throws all his timing off, rares him back. Okay, let me ask you another thing. really see that power of Malachi on full that bull's head come out, he was at a dead stop, was he not? That's a re-ride. Re-ride. goes the helmet. And he is going to... So that challenge proven successful. With that re-ride, the Kansas City Outlaws will get to keep their challenge and perhaps use it later in the game if Coach Hart and company decide to do so. Good to see Hart up on his feet, making his PBR team's debut this weekend. Texas, an opportunity to move two full bulls ahead in this one. But Randolph, down early here, hits that dirt in three and 84 as Cold Creek has some big moves out of the gate. Yeah, he did. Big jumps right out of here and a lot of forward movement from this bull. You can see as he turns back, gets Brady off his bull rope, and that's when you feel the full power of these bucking bulls. What? 46 and a quarter bull score. That is the best that we've seen tonight. Cold Creek, he was here to put on a show. Yeah, big time out from Cold Creek right here. Marco. Oh, yeah. Marco. Go ahead, Marco. Go. Woo! Damn. A Gucci yeah, with an early day, exit. Yikes. Malachi gets the veteran down in three and 42. Yeah, you heard him yeah. on the back of the hey. shoots talking about the out from this bull nice. though. Malachi having Honky? a huge day. Was that the adjective I heard? Honky, and it's a, it's a fitting one. <laughs> 46 and a quarter bull scores. And Malachi earns every point of it. Look at this. That's some air time right there. If you're a fan of bull power, well, Grab some more popcorn because you are getting it tonight in every single game. Oh, Roberts was trying to ride on. Moon Juice gets the rider forward and ultimately on the dirt in 5 and 55. This is a big out from this bull right here. You can see the power jumping, kicking. You can't ask for one to buck any harder than that. And he does, pulls him down. Yeah, looking at that Las Vegas gym cam, you heard his coaches saying, get that chest out, trying to bow that chest out, get those shoulders back and get back in the middle. But it was gonna be really tough with a bull this rank. 46 and a quarter bull score. That is a championship round caliber bull in every city we go to, and Roberts has to meet him right here in the game. Talk about those bull scores. They're looking at kick, they're looking at spin, degree of difficulty. This bull had everything. Waiting for that nod, waiting for the eight. What? And back time! What? Does it move? He doesn't move! The biggest Thank moment you. of the entire game, and back time said, I'm going to the back. I said, you're Get not another go. bull. Uh, Eduardo. <laughs> All right. Did you write that, Hollywood? I don't think so. So at what point of the night does a crowd like this boo a bull? V Hummer's gold. Hey. That was a lot of pressure for back time, okay? He's got Gray waiting in the trailer. Well, let me tell you about back time. Back time will not have any time back at this tour. That's the last time we've seen that bull. Hey, he's a good bull. While we were talking, you hear the talk on the Ridge Riders. Wait, I hate to interrupt you, but I got to go back and watch no, you this. Don't. Let's look again. Yeah, you're right. Let, let's look again. Look, this real time. Sage, break down that out. 1001, 1002. <laughs> back time, just not feeling it. All right. I, don't. I still don't think I could ride that bull. Yeah. yeah. You're right. We talk about guys in high pressure situations. We saw back time really crack under the pressure here at Ridge Rider Days. Wow. Can't wait to see this bull score from Cool Whip. What air gets Vera down and 
four and 27. We would have loved to see what a qualified ride score would have been, but that'll be enough to allow the Rattlers to leave here in the number five spot. 46 and a quarter. Cool with Bess's own score. Well, you said it. This bull has gotten so much better, and you're going to see it here as he leaves that buck and shoe. And JRV started a great ride. Started a really great ride, but this bull is rank. There's no other way to put it. He doesn't help a lot. He's got a lot of forward motion to him. He's a bucking bull. And he's one of those bulls that gets better as the ride continues. The further you get towards eight seconds, the better that bull is. Oh, Roberts was trying to ride on Moon Juice. Gets the rider forward and ultimately on the dirt in 5 and 55. This is a big out from this bull right here. You can see the power jumping, kicking. You can't ask for one to buck any harder than that. And he does, pulls him down. Yeah, looking at that Las Vegas jib cam, you heard his coaches saying, get that chest out, trying to bow that chest out, get those shoulders back and get back in the middle. But it was going to be really tough with a bull this rank. 46 and a quarter bull score. That is a championship round caliber bull in every city we go to. And Roberts has to meet him right here in the game. Talk about those bull scores. They're looking at kick. They're looking at spin, degree of difficulty. This bull had everything. When we get to Vegas, there's so much on the line when we get to the championship. Don't let him up there, Dinner. Dinner, keep him down there. I mean, it sounds simple, right? Sounds, sounds that easy, coach. It's only 1,500 pounds. Just keep them right there in the steel. If he can get by. Oh, wow. Comes down so early and shot like a cannon out of there. Thanks to Slim Shady's horns. 199, the buck off time. And that was high velocity. Watch this. This is a... Uh, very humbling moment for anybody when a bull shoots you across the arena like that. Well, it shows you the power of these bulls. A bull just flung him 20 foot across the arena. Big shot. U.S. Board Patrol picking the pin right here. Cool whip, 246 plus bull scores this season. Can Wingson get it done? Whoa! was about to be huge for De Silva. Oh, we all wanted to see that go to the whistle. Just imagine the kind of score it would have been. The back of the shoots, every teammate thought it was happening. So why did it not hear buck off time, seven and 36? Well, cool whip skills on full display, 46 and a quarter points. Look at his teammates on the back of the buck and shoots. Oh. Even in defeat, 7.3, they understand and recognize how tough that bull is. Now Coach Michael yeah, Gaffney right. really just got right in the action yeah, on this watch one. Watch his hat. The tail of that bull comes around and just smacks him. But it, it stayed on. In, in typical Michael Gaffney form, it did not affect his concentration whatsoever. Okay. Staying in there with his team, and again, that's why he has uh, been such a great leader this season for the Austin Gamblers. Every point counts. What moves from goal chain? Mass is hung up there. Good to see him get loose from that bull rope. For moments there, you thought, this is going to be a 90. But then the next moment you think, oh, he's coming down. How many times did that ride go back and forth for you? There was a lot going on. There was a lot to take in right there. That bull bucked extremely hard and Marcus gave it everything he had though. This is why I love bull riding right here. This bull giving it everything he's got. Marcus matching him jump for jump. 45 and a quarter bull score. That the best bull score we've seen so far this game. Anywhere north of 45 for our newer fans, that typically looks like a score of a 92 or a 93. So these bulls are putting up numbers where if we're getting the qualified rides, we could be seeing a game with multiple 90s. 
Yeah, the bull's been bucking extremely hard here. Brady Randolph aboard Zorro. That nod. What a ride for Randolph. Zorro now taking a victory lap. Yeah. Randolph on his feet. Zorro not done. He S came to show the crowd some moves. S-L-O-B-B-E-R-K-N-O-C-K-E-R. -E -E Slobber knocker coming your way with this game, Carolina and Texas. Someone's got Google. Spelling bee champ. 1993, take a look at Brady Randolph again, taking one away from his hand. Zorro, no problem, trying to figure things out towards the end. 83 and three quarter points, good thing this wasn't happening during the eight seconds. But you know, Zorro thought, I'm gonna let him go for a victory lap and let him hear the applause from this crowd. Get up there, get up there, get up there, get up there! The Every crowd taking us through that one. Mitchell down in 3 and 89. Some tense moments right after that buck off, but both Bull and Mitchell safe, but not happy with the result there. Everybody crashing the boards on that one, trying to get out of harm's way, Ezekiel Mitchell. I, I, again, I love the effort. I love what he's done in the offseason. I love what he's done just to be a part of this franchise. Don't love the results here, as I know the gamblers aren't as well. But again, take a look at those bullfighters. They're trying with everything they can. That bull just had his sights set on Zeke from the word go. He was just helping him get back up on the sideline where Jose Vitor Lemmy, Michael Gaffney instantly met him, started talking. That's what PBR Teams is all about, to get that coaching, to get that teamwork. But what this does... He's been riding really good. Big wave with a big move before the gate even opens, though, and he's not done. Yeah, but look at Derek Kolbaba. Didn't phase him at all. He immediately right back to business. And I love the intensity that we're seeing from Kolbaba right now. He's locked in, laser focused, ready to get to business. Take another look at this big move from Big Wave as Kolbaba gets reset. If he's getting that kind of air inside of the chutes, just imagine when that gate cracks open. Bull goes from a zero to 100 really, really quickly. The thing that you pointed out about the intensity of Derek Kolbaba, I like the composure of Derek Kolbaba. Made. If we're just going to be completely open and transparent, there's a lot of decisions that are about to be made. We talk about coaching strategy. Now we turn to our coaches for the strategy to see where we move. Look at this. So, so... Yeah, watch so the, this back. Yeah. This entire line of screens that comes all the way down like a domino effect. Brand new setup. Is, is, is a lot of pressure because he don't put up with no bull. He expects everyone to make the whistle. And, and 